Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I was making my usual Top Epons video and I came across this guy, Ramazan Abdullayev. Just incredible. Took gold on the day at under 60. First time I've ever seen him and he won all of his matches with Newaza and he did something incredible as well. He got two Wazaris on the ground in the same sequence. So the ref didn't call Mate. It was two Wazaris in a sequence and it's incredible stuff in the final as well. So We'll go through, have a look at his matches. It's all Nawaza, as I said. So if you like Tachiwaza, you might want to go watch one of my other videos. But, I mean, this is exciting stuff. Look at this. So, he sets up a Sode Gurumajime, which is kind of like a, a strangle from the back. You're using your gi to pass your hands behind the person's neck, and the other hand going in front of the neck, of course. But he's not looking to choke people out. He's looking to turn them over. And you'll see in this next sequence, it's just incredible how he's able to latch on to people's necks and then roll them over from this position. And I love this stuff here, just a great transition into the Nenwaza. Here it is, the feed. And watch what he does with his feet. And so now he's into all Saikomi. And he's still got the, the Sode Guruma kind of grip, but it is a Katakatame for the hold down. So it's really interesting how he's merging these two techniques together. I mean, I've seen it before. I've seen people do this before, but I mean, he does it so effectively. And the turnover, the turnover is really, really special. Defending, and then the, the little Ashiwaza to kind of get people down here. Using the leg across the thigh to just break people down to the ground. And then he jumps on the neck so quickly. And I think from wrestling, I mean, this arm behind the back of the neck, I think it's called, is it a Nelson? But anyway, pretty similar to how wrestlers like to use the back of the neck like that to roll people over. I'm not sure if he has a wrestling background, but being Russian, I mean, maybe he does. And look at this, I mean, his opponent just can't get out of this. It's incredible. So we're into the corner final now, and this is against Carlino from Italy. And look at that, I mean, that was sensational transition to the ground. We'll have a look at it again. Look at this cross grip feed to the back, and I don't think he wanted to actually throw his opponent for a score there. He really just wanted to get him to the mat. He just wants to get people to the mat. He's not interested in getting a score. At least that's what I think. This is what he wants to do. And look at the, the hips to the side to kind of, you know, get the leverage to turn his opponent into him. And then Carlino, he gets out. Watch this sequence. This is ridiculous. Carlino gets out. And so immediately, Abdullayev goes with the pants. And this is the Lipitiliani kind of turnover. But... Carlino, he sees it, he goes to defend it, and then in a split second, Abdullayev rolls over, and he's into it anyway. I mean, this is high level now, was it, guys? And I've never seen this guy, Abdullayev, I said that at the beginning of the video, but I would really like to see him against, like, Takato. I know Takato's got great now, was it? But would he be able to stop this? I mean, the first, the first thing you have to do is just stop getting to the mat. But Abdullayev has just so many good ways. He's not scoring on people, but just so many good ways of getting people to the mat. This one, this was really interesting in the semi-final against Mekidze from, from France. Nice Kochi attempt here. But watch Abdullayev get him to the ground. And he only needs to put Mekidze's arms, his limbs, just here. That's all he needed. And it's over. You might have missed it. I know I've put the audio volume a little bit down, but Mikidze, he verbally taps, I think. Yeah, I just checked the other camera angle. It is a verbal tap. So Mikidze, he kind of shouts out, the ref stops it, and that is a verbal a verbal tap. But watch it again. Abdullayev, he knew it was Nawaza. His coach was shouting in the back, Nawaza, Nawaza. And if you got all four limbs on the ground like that, it is Nawaza. And that is a totally, totally fine submission to go for. And this was the final... And you would think with a bit of time before, between the semis and the finals, Bayramo from Azerbaijan would have a bit of time to kind of think about a game plan, figure out what he's doing and stop this. But it was just incredible. Abdullayev, I mean, he did the exact same thing to Bayramo. And it was even better. It was even better. This is the final sequence. Heading into it now. And as I said at the start of the video, it is two Wazaris 
in one sequence. So there's no mate, and it's on the ground. It is incredible. There's that Ashiwaza. Not effective, but that's the mistake there by Beiromov going for a Seoinage. Here's the turnover with the legs, and he's he's. it's hard to see on this angle, but he's already locked up that Sore Guruma. And this is the, the rollover. I'm not sure how he does it. It's incredible. And Beiromov, he does pretty well to turn over here. And that's the first Wazari, so there was enough time on the clock for one. But Abdullayev goes again. And it's just incredible that he's got this grip and he still manages to use his legs and get his opponent over like this. Kicking the knee out here. Togeta. And this is it. The final Osai Komi. Round one, all the way to the finals. Pretty much the same thing. I think he had three Epons with this and then a couple of others. Just incredible, incredible stuff. So let me know what you think of Abdullayev, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.